right? In God's way and the lives you actually produce. Because there's no higher assets, regardless of what is being given to you. All of those are temporary, but your soul to soul connection is forever. So he is saying, you know what I mean? Things that is shocking because people have been speculating that for years. They've been talking about that for years. See what I'm saying? But it's true. That's exactly what's truly going on. And that has been happening. And that, or even Orlando Brown, when he was talking about the people that we think are gone are not truly gone. They are, you know, made into somebody else or they're right there on Hollywood Boulevard in certain ways and certain stuff. But there's a lot of deep secret magics that people are doing and those things are true but anybody that actually touches on that subject and talks about that anybody they try to cancel them they try to say that but can you cancel god do you see what i'm saying you can't do those things and your knowledge and wisdom is meant for you to talk for you to express, for you to teach. I'm hoping that one day somebody's going to listen to this video and learn something from this. Not the fact that I talk for a very long time, but it. some of the things I've said resonates with you and what you need to do as a person. Because it don't matter. Whatever you think you're doing, right? Do it in God's way. Mm -hmm. There's a good way to do something and there's a bad way to do something. Just like there's a good way to take care of yourself and there's a bad way to take care of yourself. No doubt. You know, it doesn't matter about arguments or political this or political that. It's just the fact. Mm -hmm. It don't matter in which way you express it or which format you are saying it in. It's actually facts that you're saying. Hmm? Is it not true that these things are happening? It is. Do you wait until it happens to pretend that you didn't know, to talk about it? So then it is true that all those things that are happening out there is because they have to sacrifice certain levels so that they can get a, a quick rewards. But is it true success? Have they gained what they're supposed to actually gain because when their time is up it seems like they were never relevant mm -hmm. tell me did they gain what they're supposed to gain are they relevant to the degree that people see them as mm -hmm. because if you're not relevant to god that means you're a waste of creation and that he gave you his soul and you didn't utilize it to the best of your ability. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter how much skills you have done and how much abilities you have. But when you channeled, that means the words that are coming out of your mouth. Is it the truth or are you trying to side by it or some way? You can choose to listen to it. You can choose not to listen to it. Don't do those things. Hmm? But just remember, you're going to face it because guess what? You're going to be asked those things. You're going to have to understand it. Even if you don't want to hear from me, you will hear from them. Hmm? I'm telling you, the time of evolution for every single person is now. The time for process of change, the ability to become better, to be better, is now. Hmm? Noah warned the people. No, Noah talked to the people so much. Right? And they were laughing at Noah. They say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're building an ark. Why are you doing all those things? Well, you do this. So how could you know God? Oh, well, you do this. But you see... 
those eight people or those seven people along with Noah that listened were the what? The ones that were used to repopulate the earth. Those animals, right? Think about it. The animals know what time. That means animals are more obedient than people. You notice they know when it's going to rain, when this is going to happen, when it's going to happen. Because they know about spiritual implications. Though they can't talk, our kind of talk, you know, they understand through spiritual connections. Mm -hmm. So that's why you should understand that we know more. And what you know is what you should express. What you know is what you should talk. What you know is what you should try to share because that is not selfishness because the people can learn from it and from them others that you don't even know can learn from it as well as long as at the end of the day you have spoken right what do you need to say hmm? people can try to say oh you talk too much why are you talking like this? You don't talk loud enough. You don't do this. You don't do this. You don't do that. Why? Hmm? So you can't hear the truth? Why? So you can say that it was never told to you? You spend so much energy, negative energy, trying to stop progression of life, progression of truth, that if you use that same energy and you change it to positivity, you can become better. And you can do much, even much more than even the person that is the originator. Just like how Jesus said, right? He said what? There'll be, there'll be people that will do more than I have done. However, nobody is the original foundation like me. Uh, you can do much better because due to your position, due to what you're analyzing, what you're understanding, you don't need the antidote. You already prevention. Mm -hmm. Plus, Knowledge, you can do much better. Mm -hmm. Prototypes over time can become better, right? Just like everything else, designs are the same. The foundation still trends through the time, but the elevation of, of, of like flash and spaz and all of those things are due to the cultures of time. So you see the same thing, but it's just designed in a more intellectual way because the times have changed. They have realized different materials. They have analyzed, but if they didn't have the old foundation, then they would not have a new foundation. No such thing as new discoveries. You can't discover something new. It's already there. Hmm? It's already been discovered. New technologies is already there. The foundation is always there, but it is how we view it, is what we say history is and what history should be. But God's history never changes. See what I'm saying? The Bible is written from how long ago? It's a Bible with words. How come everything we're living by if we're not in that? We are. That means our souls are one with the Bible. So that's why we have no choice that we, the life we're living. That is why Jesus can say all these things. Because he knows what exactly what he is saying. Hmm? Think about it. Don't spend so much time playing tricks and games and laughing and mocking others. You don't have time yourself. Hmm? Time is time. Right? Do you know when you're going to go? I don't think so. Don't matter who you are, how much money you have, how much physical influence you have. If you don't know God, you could have been buried with, with uh, what's it called, 24 karat gold casket. Where are you going to go? Hmm? Are you going to get there and the spirits of time are going to say to you, um, you, you, when you get to the cemetery, are they going to say, oh, you came in a casket of gold 
find her or him a better position, hmm? a better place. You're not. Trust me, you're not. So I am telling you, have faith, man. Sometimes I myself lose track of faith. It's hard sometimes. I'm telling you. It's hard when everybody seems to be, you know, working against you. Everybody wants to attack you from certain angles. They wants to affect how you are. Not realizing that they should be helping because you are helping God. Mm hmm don't waste your time to have hatred towards others because you don't like their spiritual presence. It will destroy you. Hmm? If you don't like their spiritual presence, and if it's from God, then you do not like God. Jesus said, if you hate and understand if the world hates you, they hated me first. Hmm? You notice all these things tie back to everything Jesus did? Everything. Because he's seeing things from spiritual aspect of the people. So the advancement of the people are not to be analyzed because they are what? Advancing very quickly spiritually, I mean physically but not spiritually. And if you are advancing in the physical, that doesn't mean you're truly advancing spiritually because if they're doing these sacrifices, that means the demons that are summoned are the ones who's doing all of these things for them, creating wealth for them, giving them um, what's called ideas and knowledge but they require sacrifices of blood so that they can what? They can grow, but they only have what? A time period because it's temporary. So they could only give you temporary promises. Hmm? So as long as you live, you're gonna have good things. You're gonna have good, greater influence. It's just that you can't, your, your power is allergic to the holy God. So that means you cannot talk about Jesus Christ. You cannot focus on doing what is truly good to help the lost souls find Jesus Christ. You cannot do that. So if you can't do those things, then everything you do is, is not good. And God, in fact, uses you. Yes, they do so much charities, so giving, giving, giving. But all of that goes to waste if you actually cannot talk about God, if you cannot express yourself about God, if you cannot worship God because the spirits around you, right, do not like that. Hmm? That's what a lot of people think, you know. They give, 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 physical gifts. Oh, yeah, just give. And they're considered great people. But what is the spiritual meaning behind that? So you know what I mean? If you are given a certain perspective of two individuals, right? And these individuals, one don't have a lot of money. The other has a lot of money right and the one that don't have a lot of money knows god has been paying his dues worshiping being through trials and tribulation doing all these things and the other one got his fame off of you know sacrificing and they have certain obligations the one that has a lot of money has a lot of benefits, meaning that physical benefits are given so much to charity and so forth. And the one that don't 
is able to give once in a while. Believe it or not, the one that gives once in a while value is much higher to God than the one that gives countless times. It doesn't weigh out the difference if, let's say, you give in $10 billion a year, but yet you don't worship God. And you're giving $10 billion to help um, starving children, helping them, you know, saving their lives. But that still is not enough for God to excuse you in what you are doing. You have to understand that. Your life is very valuable. That is why you're considered you're supposed to live forever. That means you can't die. Hmm? You cannot die. So if you cannot die, that means it's condemnation or was it called salvation? One of them. Just remember, use your abilities to the best of your capacity so that God can say, yes, my faithful servant, you have used what I have given you and you have multiplied it. You have helped so many people and you have done what I have asked you to do. This, in fact, is going to help you, right? With gaining grace from me because you have what? You have a place in my heart. Hmm? So like a love letter, God is saying to you because God deeply cares for you because you are him in him, in, 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 in people. You are him. Hmm? Inside of you is God. But the presence is small only until you start to increase your presence. Do you choose to? Or do you choose to tuck it away? Do you choose to be shy? Do you choose to say, times are hard. You know, starvation is this. It, times are hard, but God will prevail. He knows even if you die of starvation, he's still there. You're still going to have an afterlife. Hmm? What happened to Peter? What happened to John? What happened to the disciples? All of these disciples, right? How did they end up? However, you can best believe that they have salvation because, except for obviously Judas, because what he did. Hmm? See, Judas would have got forgiven because it was in the timeline that that must take place, but he couldn't see it in himself to be forgiven. See what I'm saying? So he took his own life through suicide. I encourage you, if you're having suicidal thoughts, those are the devil trying to speak to you. They're trying. You can't actually think. But they're trying to get you to give up your godly side. Hmm? Remember, physical things are temporary. They're just masked to seem like it's forever. Sometimes I feel like it's forever to be able to get through certain circumstances. But then I always go back to my original foundation of praying and worshiping so God can give me more intensify, right? Intensify me so that I can overcome those kinds of situations, right? Because guess what? Thoughts come and go. Your circumstances may not even change after the encouragement of God. However, the increase of God within you 
will change. And when it changes, your way of looking at that same particular situation is much different. Hmm? You're human. Everybody go through situations. But do not go to the depth of trying to eliminate yourself. God spent time with you, creating you, creating a timeline for you, creating gifts and giving you all these things to utilize yourself. He spent time doing those times, countless time after time. He did that. Hmm? Don't waste your time by destroying yourself. Don't waste your chance of eternity by doing these things. Okay? Have a great day, guys. Stay motivated. Stay focused. Like, comment, and share this video. And, of course, optimize your life in the spiritual. Just remember what I said. I try to speak the truth <clears throat> so that others can hear it one day and learn from it simply because you need the truth. Maybe one day the Bible might not be apparent and you might not be able to have that wisdom. And this video may be a video that you helps you to weigh in on what the importance of developing a relationship with God and how God have used so many countless people and that they were going through so much hard times. However, people that weren't expected, like David, right? Like, like Daniel, like Samuel, like Samson, all those people and more, right? He didn't ex expect them to overcome all odds, but they did. As long as you allow God to use you, you know, and in order for that to happen, you have to spend time with God, praying, reading, worshiping, focusing, so you can be motivated and increase your passion so that your faith is what? Unlimited. Thank you and have a great day. Bye now.